Our story begins in France, a country which is many things to many people. To some, it might represent a long loaf of fresh, perfectly baked, abundant grapes, unique plumbing facilities, and perhaps most memorable of all, its marvelous Mamselle. For example, here at Brussels' famed Moulin Rouge, we see the buxom bombshell of Brussels, voluptuous Veronique Gabrielle, performing her heady, hedonistic dance of the leather belt, an incendiary act calculated to spectators. Her fabulous figure is the... Here she waits, her generous bosom abundantly displayed, and her long tapered legs encased in sheer hosiery. palace for the unforgettable performance of that Nordic nymph, Greta Thorvald, whose pulchritude is unrivaled by any showgirl in Denmark. Her youthful bosom, flat stomach, firm hips, and smooth, lithe legs all seem to unite in her exotic dance, which she delivers in a burst of... The resident harlots sit expectantly in the big windows, displayed like sides of beef in the window of a chop house. Let us accompany our guide as he again documents on film, Europe in the Raw. Let's linger a moment at the Fair Lady Film Bar, where Abunda Vita, the bosom bountiful, is about to begin her act of primitive passion. Capacity crowds flock to see Abunda Vita, fantastically developed, exercise her magnificent pectoral pulchritude as she wantonly entertains the sporting crowd of Berlin with a fierce intensity. are girls for any pocketbook and every desire. In this red light district, one can indulge in any kind of sexual aberration known to man, with the sole exception of rape. The price of commercial love in Berlin, like most places throughout the world, is governed by what the trade will bear. The standard rate is $4 for 15 minutes, and usually $10 to $15 for all night. For the uninitiated in the business practices of German prostitution, it should be pointed out that the time is always figured according to the watch of the prostitute, which generally seems to run faster than that of the customer. In cases where a prostitute works under the close supervision of a pimp or madam, they make it a habit to keep track of the time. 
One is reminded when his allotted time is up by a knock on the door, which sounds more like the blast of an atom bomb in view of the tranquility of the situation. If one has been too slow in his amours, due either to his own choice or to adverse circumstances, he has two alternatives, to remain frustrated or to hand over more marks. Needless to say, German prostitutes are cold and calculating and devoid of any semblance of affection. Of a less romantic sort, but of equal fulfillment, let us hie away to Place Pigalle, the wild and lustful Parisian monument to sexual eroticism. Every club boasts that it presents the nudist show in Paris. Let's drop into Le Sphinx and thrill to the abandoned wantonness of...